Since having been vacated by the Treasury a few years ago, Jib Telecom announced plans to move its operations into the building colloquially known as The Haven. And although they've been granted permission to overhaul the building twice before, no work has since been undertaken. The permits have since expired twice. At today's meeting of the DPC, Jib Telecom presented new plans, largely based on a previous design, which they'd presented to the Commission. The refurbishment plans involve a change to the look of the building, with the well-known facade being replaced with a glass exterior. Jib Telecom's plans also involve the construction of an extra two storeys. The Development and Planning Commission, however, raised a number of concerns. Although previous plans had been approved in the past, this time round, the Minister for the Environment, Dr John Cortes, raised concerns regarding the glass facade and its impact on bird life. Dr Cortes said that while the lower levels would not necessarily have a major impact, the glazing at the higher levels could result in a number of bird strikes. The Heritage Trust also questioned plans for the bridge that currently links the building with the City Hall. Since this detail was absent in the plan submitted today, the DPC made it a condition that the bridge had to be removed on the completion of works, allowing the integrity of the City Hall to be restored. The DPC also addressed concerns over the addition of two extra storeys to the building, and in the end, a new condition was introduced that would limit the refurbishment to just one extra storey. Dr Cortes also highlighted the legal requirement to create as near-zero energy systems for the new building and asked that renewables be introduced into the plan. A decision on Jib Telecom's plans has been deferred, with Jib Telecom asked to revise their plans in view of the concerns and new requirements.